pleased to welcome Peter Bechet, who is the CEO and owner of Doxter, which is a revolutionary platform in the telemedicine industry. We've had a lot of interest in telemedicine from a lot of our physicians, so I thought the timing for this would be perfect. Peter, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> Peter, can you tell us about your platform? Yes, absolutely. Well, uh, this platform, what we had uh, constructed was to address a current situation and a current uh, opportunity in the market where a lot of patients are tired of driving all the way to the uh, urgent care, tired of waiting, tired of paying a lot of money to get their prescription refilled, uh, which obviously is not, um, is not something that uh, people want to, you know, uh, go through this hassle for. So we built a platform that allows the patient to register online, build their profile, give us a quick description of their, their symptom, and with a quick one-time fee of $45, no need to worry about insurance, no need to worry about, you know, headaches and validation, et cetera, et cetera, pay 45 bucks, talk to the doctor, see the doctor live directly on your browser through your desktop computer or your mobile device, and automatically have the doctor that you talk to do a quick diagnostic and then fill up your prescription that you can actually go pick up directly from across the street. So what does the telemedicine market look like? It's got to be a blossoming landscape and it's just plenty of opportunity. So what does it look like from both sides of the fence, both for the patient and for the doctor? This is also a booming market and thank you for asking the question. The uh, telemedicine uh, world has evolved a great deal over the past several couple of years. Um, obviously the, the laws in Texas has changed, have changed a lot uh, where you know telemedicine was only allowed to um, do consultations for current patients. You were not allowed by the law to see any new patients. So uh, this has changed a lot over the past couple of years, but uh, the good news is telemedicine is evolving. This is, this is not tomorrow anymore, it's today, it's now, and um, it's very exciting to be part of it. We, we've seen this as a trend. I mean, there's clinics out there like Minute Clinic. It's right in the title. Patients want something that's quick. They want to get their prescription now. So this is just the next evolution of that. That's where I see telemedicine. So what are the current options for a patient? Walk me through it. If I'm a patient, I've never used a telemedicine service. And I go looking around, what am I going to find? And what is that process going to be like for me to have that, that patient visit? The patient visit has to be as convenient as you say, and it has to be as efficient and thorough as possible. While keeping in mind that telemedicine cannot do everything. If you have a broken arm, if you have an emergency, you need to go to the ER. But if you have the sniffles, if you have a, a headache, if you have some allergy symptoms, something that, you know, um, can be addressed through the world or through the vessel of telemedicine, then doctor.us is, um, is a very, very good platform for you, either for yourself or for a loved one, a family member, or even your children. Um, you don't need to worry about, you know, driving all the way to the clinic and uh, looking at an hour wait or a 45-minute wait. Uh, Doxter, once you fill up your uh, your your uh, your profile and then uh, enter the, the 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 symptoms that you're suffering from or you're trying to resolve, then within minutes you get to see and talk live to a doctor right there on your uh, computer or mobile device. So I'm hearing a lot of convenience there for the patient in saving time and energy. <laughs> Absolutely. But what about for a physician? Like, would a physician that's running their own practice see this as potential competition, or is this something that they could integrate into their practice? So, what what would that look like? What's the opportunity for me? I'm Dr. Jones, and I'm running my own practice. Convenience in this day and age is is is. Uh is golden, for lack of a better word. And for a lot of doctors in many different states, what's going on is that there is an overflow of patients. Patients cannot uh, be seen quickly. 
So um, providing this type of solution and this type of convenience to their own patients not only um, gives them kind of a, a, a better value for who they are, what they do, but at the same time, they could also take a, a small piece of the profit or kind of a referral fee or an affiliate fee, however we, we call it and integrate it into their clinic. That's something that's going to be discussed in the future. But uh, they gain more value all the way around. So the patient is going to have the convenience of, of getting their, their symptoms diagnosed, diagnosed uh, faster. Uh, you get the, the provider it's himself, they get you know, a referral fee and then doctor gets to help people. So that's the win-win-win. So I see this, I see some of the larger health systems out there already have their own telemedicine types of um, models. So I, I definitely see a, a fit for this for the medium to smaller practices that maybe don't have the infrastructure to do their own telemedicine business. This is something that they could basically plug into and be able to offer the services to their patients of, hey, look, we can see you after hours or we can see you without an appointment and or without leaving the house. And especially physicians who have overflow this is a way to maybe ease the congestion and just provide a better overall service to patients. We mm -hmm. Doctors are in business after all. So how does this differ from current telemedicine platforms that are already existing? Well, thank you for asking the question, Mike. Uh, this is a very, um, uh, I wouldn't say unique. I mean, the telemedicine is, is, is telemedicine. The, the, just the way we've, we've chosen we've decided to you know uh, package it is to remove all barriers or as many barriers to entry meaning for example you don't need to worry about downloading an app we've noticed that sometimes the patient's phone doesn't have enough room or doesn't have enough resources to run an app so we took that out and we utilized one of the latest you know upgrades on current browser technology which allows you directly through your chrome or safari browser to have a live a live a live video on demand uh, through through your your website so basically it's a web-based app that we were able to develop and we were also able to kind of recognize that many insurance companies have a copay it doesn't apply across the board obviously there are exceptions but many many insurance have copay and this copay sometimes vary between 60 70 80 100 dollars um and you have to go through the hassle of figuring out if you are approved, if that's validated, et cetera, et cetera. So we just wanted to bypass all barriers to entry and allow the patient to directly go pay a $45 one-time fee for the consult and then get to see the doctor. No headaches, no barriers, no bumps in the road. So what about the big issue of compliance and where does the information go? Because privacy and cyber hacking are like a big concern for medical practices right now, like even x-rays can be modified, is what I've heard, which is pretty amazing. So how secure is what you, you're doing? This is another excellent question. Thank you, you guys are on a roll today. <laughs> <laughs> we have a HIPAA compliant uh, system that uh, that is 100% secure, SSL certificate. In addition to, we run it on our dedicated servers on Rackspace uh, with a HIPAA compliant server uh, setup and configuration and structure. And all our emails are also uh, HIPAA compliant as well. So we've covered as much as we can. Obviously, if the Pentagon gets hacked, what chance do we have? But anyhow, uh, we, we try to cover all the bases to, uh, to be compliant with us. And Peter, I know we're talking to you here in Texas and your business has started in Texas. So you're already accepting patients here, but where are you, what markets are you guys growing into? And what's, what are you guys looking for now? Well, thank you for asking this question as well. I mean, currently we are covering the entire state of Texas because the, uh, the, the, the co-founder, the doctor um, that is actually running the patient uh, consultations currently is licensed for the state of Texas, but we are aiming and we are um, envisioning covering the entire country as soon as possible. All it takes is for a provider to use his license to cover that state, whether it's California, Oregon, or Virginia. Um, and 
basically docster.us becomes available in that state automatically. All we need to do is just agree, discuss logistics and schedule and who does what and what time and for who, and uh, we are up and running in that state immediately. So this sounds like a great opportunity for physicians to get involved in, in the ground floor. Absolutely. The time is now. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank you. Just when the